Uh, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, this is a 50mm 1.4 uh, Olympus, but um, this goes for a lot of uh, Olympus lenses. Um, uh, people think that the aperture, like this is for the aperture getting oil on it, but people think it's the aperture that's actually getting oil on it, and that can be the case, but I find that about 7 out of 10, it's not actually the aperture. Um, it's the mechanism in the back lever, this, and you know, it's all the connection in there. You can see how slow it is, right? The aperture, if you see the aperture, if you hold that manually closed, you can see the aperture, the closing opening, that's fast. So it's not the aperture. So um, I saw people doing goofy videos where they're taking pieces of paper and jamming it in here. And you know that their aperture is fine. It's just the mechanism in the back. This is going to be a two minute video on how to fix that. Like it's so easy. And you can see that this lens that I received, it's, they ripped the, the um, I got this with two lenses and they ripped the grip off of this one to repair their other one, um, which is really too bad because it's a great lens and it shouldn't have had the mount, the grip ripped off. They could have just spent two seconds and fixed it, but I obviously didn't know how. So let me show you how to do this. You need two screwdrivers and some, um, I use 70% al rubbing alcohol. So all you do is you take off, you got the, the three little screws on the uh, that metal black plate, pop those out, um, and then the, the main mount, take those three silver screws off, these ones are a bit tight, you gotta press down a bit. You do not want to strip those. Pull both mounts off. You can pull this one up to get this one out. And then you should be able to take this out. Now, let me show you. I show for you. It's not actually... Oops. There, you can see how fast that is. Right? So it's not the aperture itself. Now, the aperture can get gooey, but, and uh, maybe I'll make a video for one of those if I get one that's actually gooey, but a lot of times it's just the mount. And man, there's a ton of these that happens. What happens is, I don't know if you can see this, but there's, um, yeah, let me just focus in. I'm gonna pick the wrong lens for this. Um, but basically, um, there's, uh, here you can see by my thumb, what happens is there's, there's uh, grease in here, and um, um, it gets uh, with age, it gets sticky, and then um, and then dust gets in here, and it just mixes with it, and it just becomes uh, sand and like mud. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that's why just old. So all you have to do, and let me show you that it, it is the like there you can see like look how slow that goes, right? So all it is, is it's slowly sliding on nasty grease. So all you do is you got a screw here and a screw here. Um, this holds the arm there. Um, I'm just gonna pop those out. That one can be tight. And uh, just hold everything together because when you let this one go, you got this spring in here and stuff goes flying. <laughs> As you can see, there's the, the spring that loads that. Um, and then all you have to do is pull this, this uh, silver plate up, and it should bring the black one up. Now, look at this. Ah, man, I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there it is just nasty with um, grease in here. And there, the problem is that in this inner ring, so I can actually see some dirt. Like if I wipe it, I don't know if you can see my finger. It's black. I got black grease and shiny whatever. Um, and then it will be on the. You can see it's on this very ring right here, the very skin of this ring. It's kind of got a groove. 
but basically all we're going to do is just uh, I use a Q-tip and alcohol you can just swab it out you can pull this actually you just do it like this I just um, go right around Now, they might have put a little bit of oil in here to lubricate it, but over time it's it's either leaked from somewhere or it's just uh, solidifying. Grease will, over time, will either turn runny or sticky. Um, just breaks down, everything breaks down. So I'm just going around in here. Let me dry it out. I've had the uh, the the um, 518 gets it quite often. Um, the 50 was it 551.2. Basically, they, they just it, almost everyone. I'm actually going to take this out of here as well. This metal is really well built. I don't know how much they need all this grease in here. I'll leave some in there. I just want it away from the rim though, so it doesn't keep leaking in. That's it. You can see, look how black that is, right? That's all it was. Just over time, grit and nasty oil. Yeah! Well, now I've gone done it. This way. And this way. Throw this back together. So it, it's on top. This piece feeds through. If you didn't take the spring off, you won't have any problems. Um, this um, lever, or the sorry, the spring, I guess, is a spring mechanism, pushes on the uh, um, this pedal with the the ripples on it. Boom. There, you can feel already, things are moving. And then you want to do this first um, screw first, leave this one, because that takes the plate. We're just going to put this in to uh, keep everything together. Um, tighten it, but but leave it, like get it down, but loosen it just so we can move this around. Um, if you're, yeah. Yeah, we'll just throw this on. This can be a little bit tricky, but what you wanna do is you're gonna feed this screw through and then just keep moving things around until you find all your holes. There we go, look at that. Boom. That's all it was. So let's throw it together. It's too bad they ripped the grip off this thing. Now I gotta go find a grip. Make it look like a decent lens. Oh well. Um, I'll show you one more thing. Call it a boot. The boot kicks, right? So it's gonna be kicking this lever here to open and close the aperture. So put the boot on the right of that lever, or sorry, on the left, I'm sorry. And before you tighten that, throw this ring in because it can be, before you put all the screws in, because um, 
it can uh, it just helps sometimes to feed this in because this this lever is a little bit staggered jagged whatever there we go actually we'll do the black one first So don't stick a piece of paper in your mount. Take two seconds, like what did this take me? With explanation, it doesn't take too long. You can do this without blabbing. <laughs> but, um, and me, like I was tr trying to show you everything, but you should be able to do this in literally like uh, way under five minutes. All you need is two screwdrivers and some, some of this rubbing alcohol. Um, if you want, you can re-lubricate things. Uh, I use Atlas grease. Um, it's non-destructive to plastics, but I'm not going to do that for this. See? That's all it was. Hopefully this really helps you guys. Go fix your lenses. Don't scrap them. Don't pull the rubber grips off them. 